Well, I thought it was interesting because we saw such a heavy police presence, but you know what we did not see down there? was National Guard members. So while we are seeing a lot more out here tonight, including right over there outside of the Ferguson Police Headquarters, they're not doing any active policing. They're not investigating things. They're not going to scenes like that. Instead, they are manning their posts. Maybe they're manning a couple more posts than last night, but we aren't seeing them rushing to scenes like that. We didn't see any Humvees rushing to go to the scene. We didn't see any of the members here, the National Guard members here, leave their posts to go down there. So it is very clear the National Guard still has a very defined role here. So while there are more members here, we're not seeing that much of a difference in terms of what exactly they are doing here. The police were the ones who responded to that. The deputies were the ones who responded to that. Out here, outside of the police department, there is still a crowd. It is not as large, but it is a crowd. A lot of people that rushed down there to kind of go see that burnt police car were feeling the effects of that gas or that smoke, whatever was set off. So a lot of them have retreated, and many of them are coming back here. Doesn't look like there's been any more arrests since the last time we were here, just those two people that we showed you at the top of the hour. But still a crowd going here, and it has been peaceful. But as we've kept saying, the one thing that we've known from here is how fast things can change and really how just one or two people can really change the tone of a night through their actions. Earlier tonight, there were a couple incidents here where some people in the back of the crowd throwing rocks towards police. They were able to move in, though, and kind of diffuse that as most of the crowd here. Here's a good view of some of the crowd that's kind of stationed right here outside of City Hall. And then from there, if we pan over, you can see just how close the guard members are. Not face to face per se, but definitely within hearing distance of each other. They're standing stoic, and as the people here in the crowd start yelling at them. So while there are people here, not the level of people that we saw here last night, and not as many incidents so far here in Ferguson at this point last night. I mean, at this point last night we were talking to you, and there was buildings on fire behind us. No indication anything like that is going on here as the National Guard continue to stand here outside Ferguson Police Headquarters. Back to you guys. All right, Eli, a good uh, demonstration of of what's happening there in Ferguson tonight. A much different situation than last night, but lots of people, um, as you can see, standing there um, and you know expressing their freedom of speech. And then you have the National Guard that is several feet away from them.